This video is going to show you how to flash stock recovery on your Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now this works with all carriers. For this video we will be using the Sprint version, but you will just choose the right one for your device. We need to open up the Galaxy Note 2 toolkit. And then I'm going to check and see if there's an update available because I have donated and I highly recommend doing so. You will get updates before anybody else and it says I have the latest version available, so we're continuing operations. We have the Sprint model number six. I'm going to show you right now that we have custom recovery installed. I'm going to go to number 20, and I'm going to go into number two and press enter. And that's going to show us that we have custom recovery on our device. Team win awesome 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 now on the phone we're just gonna press reboot and then go to system now the phone is rebooting now you do need to make sure you have the drivers installed and you'll just press option one for that I ran through all of this in my how to root video, so if you haven't followed that video, please do so. It walks you through the installing drivers, uninstalling drivers, and etc. So I'll, I'll link to that in the description of the video you're currently watching. Alrighty, now we're going to go to number 6, which is reflash stock recovery on your device via Odin. Now, please keep in mind that this option may change with future updates. So. Basically, you just need to find the one that says Reflash Dock Recovery via Odin, which is number six in this version of the toolkit. Now it's asking us if USB debugging is enabled. Let's find out. Go to Menu, System Settings, go all the way down until you find Developer Options. And then make sure that's on and USB debugging is checked. If it's not, you will need to disconnect your device from the computer, enable the options, and then reconnect it and wait for the drivers to do its thing. If your drivers are not working, try a different USB port, try a different cable, try a different computer. Do whatever it takes. All right, we need to type yes. And then the phone's gonna be rebooting into download mode. And you saw just a minute ago that we were on custom recovery. Mm -hmm. Basically with stock recovery, you can freaking like flash official updates to your device. With custom recovery, you cannot do that. Which is kind of a pain because on the Galaxy Nexus, you can flash updates via custom recovery. It just installs stock recovery on top of it. Now it opens up Odin on my other window. I am using a dual monitor setup, so that's why I did that. And on here, it says we need to click the PDA button. We need to go to the Galaxy Note 2 toolkit, which is most of the time under your C drive right here. We need to open up the recovery folder. We need to look for stock ALJI. N7100 TAR, click open, and then click start. This does not take long at all, trust me. It, in fact, it's done. We now have stock recovery. If our device says that there is an update available, we can just press yes, accept, or whatever the button is, and we can reboot in stock recovery, and it'll start applying it. Now, please keep in mind, if you have uninstalled any system apps at all, it's going to verify that your system is exactly the way it's supposed to be. And if you changed anything, it's not going to go through. You're going to need to back up all your apps with Titanium Backup. And I recommend uploading it to Dropbox with the Pro version. Or saving your Titanium Backup folder to your computer. And then you need to flash your phone completely stock. This toolkit will do that as well. I do have a video on how to unroot, unbrick, and flash your Galaxy S... Oh, <laughs> your Galaxy Note 2 stock. I do have a video on flashing the Galaxy S3 stock as well, but this video is not about the Galaxy S3. Now we need to close Odin, and it says waiting for the device to be detected, completed, and then once it returns to the main menu, we're going to do one more thing before we end this video. We're going to go to Reboot Options, and we're going to go to Reboot to Recovery 2. And now it should take us into 100% stock recovery. Mm -hmm. And now we can, like I said, flash completely 100% stock updates. As long as you have not removed any system apps like Flipboard, um, any apps that were there before that normally you couldn't remove. So if you did that, unfortunately, you're going to have to back everything up, flash 100% stock, reroute, restore your apps, apply the update. <laughs> it's a pain in the butt. And also, you'll notice the flash counter is, you know, like 
two or three or whatever it is, that will need to be reset using Triangle Away from Chain Fire. Links to that will be in the description of the video and I'll even try to put it up on the screen now. That will put it back to zero. Keep in mind if you have custom recovery or anything, it's never ever going to stay zero. You have to have stock recovery and you have to do it before you unroot. Even with stock recovery right now, you are still rooted. It does not take away root. And I highly recommend downloading Ubuntu OTA Root Keeper and it will back up your root just in case you go into stock recovery, apply an update, and then you lose root because it will restore your root. Well, most of the time it has for me when I applied the multi window update. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I highly recommend donating so you can get the auto updates and access to newer features that no one else but you will have access to and supporting the developer of this awesome easy to use toolkit. Again, please give this video a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.